Okay, it's Back Twister Day. Tuesday was Front Twisters. We hey talked guys. about the five different ways that we can generate twists. Can anybody remember at least one of them? Cat twist. Cat twist we use specifically for our front twisters. If you're McKinsey Pearson, you also use it for your back twisters. That's where you jump up and you get in a pipe back somersault and then you snap and turn out of it. It's not orthodox, so you can't do a lot more twists after that. So <clears throat> the back, the front somersault pike snap, that's that cat twist action. Okay, what's another one? <clears throat> not swivel, it's conical. Conical twist. Everybody lay down. Give me some rolls. <clears throat> Find your right direction. No, log rolls. Log rolls. You should be in a line. Come on. There we go. This is your conical twisting. This is where we are going to be bending into a pipe, then bending into a slight arch, bending into a pipe. Just rolls. Log rolls. There we go. Squeeze your feet together. Keep your arms off the floor. Keep your feet off the floor. This is conical twisting, okay? This is that hula hoop action. You don't have to pike up on it, just go. Which direction do you twist? Okay. If you twist left, your head should be on this side. Two times through. Conical twisting! With the hips, we don't use a lot of this, especially on one meter. Three meter maybe tower a lot more. And go. Conical twisting. Harlow, you get one turn in. The arms on the ears, that's why you're going off to the side. Started using your upper body a little bit. Just in your gut. Squeeze your feet. Oh no, where am I going? Okay, everybody back on the floor. So that is conical twist. We talked about the cat twist, that's the pike snap action. What's another one? Three more. The feet, show me. Contact twist, contact twist, yes. If you're a left twister, you should be pushing down and right into the board. As you leave the board, we always push down first. We always push down first on the board. Then we add direction as we're leaving, okay? With that directional foot push. So we got two more. Two more. Now every time we twist, we are gonna tilt. Remember that. And if we can, if we can take our long axis and get it on our transverse axis, you can twist like crazy. And then the last one is what we're gonna be using a lot of today. And that one is asymmetry, okay? You're always twist to the short side you'll always twist to the short side. So when we're doing back and reverse twisters, the direction that we twist is the arm that moves first in the direction of the twist. And we're gonna have to model that today, all right? So first drill we're gonna do is going over on the wall. Oh wow. Oh wow. So first drill is the modeling drill, and we use the wall for that. So I twist left, so my left shoulder is on the wall. What I'm going to do is I'm gonna reach through vertical, then I'm gonna snap back, that's my feet leaving the board. Then I'm gonna quarter turn and drop my arm to T. Once I go there, I'm gonna switch my arm and I'm gonna wrap my arms, okay? The trail arm has to go down low on this drill, but this is giving you direction of the twisting arm. A lot of divers drop their arm forwards. We don't drop our arm forwards. That is gonna counteract the somersault and the twist. We wanna move in the direction of the somersault quarter turn, get out of the way, and then we're gonna switch our arms. So please find a spot on the wall, and I just need you to do about five of those. If you twist right, your right shoulder is on the wall. You're gonna reach through vertical, come back to flat, then you're gonna do quarter drop, and then you're going to switch. We call it separate switch or J-wrap. C flat J-wrap, C flat J-wrap. Let's make it quick, Dawson. Let's go. We are on time schedule. And guess what? I didn't start the clock. Thanks, Jay. You didn't remind me to start the clock. Hey, guys. I just want to let you know, 
Corey is the best coach ever. He's a genius. C flat J rep. C flat J rep. Quarter turn. Let's bring it back. So if you're standing there in your home pool and you're having some issues with your back twisters, you can stand up against the wall in between your dives and your reps and you can make sure that you're modeling that correct pathway of those arms. Yay! Okay, now we're going to model back twister. Okay? Now, what's the most important thing before being able to do back twister? What do you have to be able to do first? Back somersault straight. Yes, have back somersault straight. And when we're training our somersault straight, when we start today, your arms are going to stay in your ears. You're not allowed to use your arms to rotate, okay? You have to use your position, positional forces, and your action-reaction contact, okay? Got that? All right, very, very important on our back twisters that we make sure that we get a deep spot and that our arms are up before we stand up. So everybody ready for back takeoff? Up, down to Y. Up to Y. Drift and draw. Sink. Good. Nice and deep. Arms in locate to seven. Pull. Good. Now this is where we should be standing up. Arms already up. Now we're going to stand up from the butt. We're going to push to C. Now I twist to the left, so I'm going to drive my right foot out. If you twist to the right, drive your left foot out. That was us leaving the board. Now as we leave the board, I want you to drop your twisting arm down to T. Now we're going to wrap that arm circular as the trail arm comes through the armpit, just like our front twisters. Okay? You good with that? Let's do that again. Ready? Up. Down to walk. Up to walk. Drift and draw. Sink. When we sink, those arms move and locate to seven. Now our legs stay still while our arms swing. Stand up from the butt. Push to C. Flat. J. Wrap. Good. Now I went one and a half. Now let's make sure where you're at. Go back to twisting position. Remember that we do the phylo. We follow phylo just like we do on our somersaulting dive. So we go trail arm out first. Top arm comes over the top. Pike down. Open body. Look. Grab. Stretch and swim. That is a back one and a half, one and a half. All right. Let's model that a couple more times. Ready? Up. Down to Y, up to Y, drift and draw, and locate to seven as you sink, pull, stand up from the butt, push to C, flat, J, wrap, all the way through one and a half. If you do one and a half, you should be facing the opposite way. Yes. When we do back twisters, we, we don't like to do folds. A lot of gymnasts come in and they can do folds really easy because that's what they do in their back somersaults, they do back folds. When we're in diving, you can do half, and then we want to get to a one and a half. And then we want that one and a half to go to our head. If we get a good half, we put the half to our head. So today we're going to be building up for back one and a half halves. 